Ciao, I'm Eva and today we are going to make a traditional dish from uh, the Lazio region, from the south of Lazio, from the city of Gaeta. We are going to make a tiella e a tiella is a stuffed pizza and it can be stuffed with seafood or with uh, vegetables. The first step is to prepare our dough and we are going to make uh, the dough with uh, bread flour then some salt, yeast, water and some olive oil. To make our dough we start from the flour, so we transfer the flour in a bigger bowl, then we mix the dried yeast and we start adding some water. This is a very simple dough that uh, can resemble also the pizza dough. The only difference is that uh, with this, in this, we need to add a small amount of olive oil when in the Napolitan style pizza dough we don't find it. We add the water a little bit at a time while we are kneading our dough by hands. After we add most of the water is the moment in which we add the salt and we Keep knit our dough and we add more water. The last ingredient is the olive oil, so add the olive oil and keep work on your dough. When the dough is solid like this, we transfer the dough on a wood surface and we start to knead If your dough is too sticky, feel free to add a little bit of flour just to help you work on it. And we keep folding and kneading the dough. After that the dough is fully incorporated, what we do is put it back in a bowl, then we cover with plastic wrap and let it rest for about 10-20 minutes. Now that our dough has rested for about 20 minutes, is the moment in which we start folding it. From the edge, we fold inside and we do this for about seven times. So now our dough is ready and we let it rest for one hour, one hour and a half. While our dough is resting, we can take care about the stuffing. And today we are going to stuff our tiella with mussel. We are going to use also some cherry tomatoes, spicy pepper, some parsley, garlic, salt, black pepper and olive oil. First step is open our mussels. And the first thing is be sure that your mussels are clean. Then you take a pan or a pot, high temperature, so our mussel will, op will open very, very fast. And we put the mussel here. And it's very important that you cover them. And wait until all of them are open. This can take about five minutes, but be sure to not overcook your mussel because otherwise they will be too dry. Because you need to remember that they are going also in the oven. So just the time that they are open and they are ready. I feel to be back in Italy on the beach. <laughs> If it happens that some of your mussel is still closed through it away because it means that the mussel is dead, so it's not good to be eaten. As you can see, our mussels are open, so we turn off our fire and we let them cool because we need to take the mussel out from their shell. The first time that uh, I had this dish was in Gaeta, the city where this dish is from. And for me it was a dish that just made my mind blowing because it was so good and the flavor were so intense that I promised to myself, okay, I have to cook this again and again and again. 
Now that our muscles are uh, ready, out of the shell, we are going to season them and we are going to use uh, some uh, parsley, a clove of garlic. Now is the moment of our uh, cherry tomatoes. So we cut them in half. Now I add some spicy pepper. Feel free to add uh, as much as you want. Then some black peppers, salt, about two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we mix all together. That looks good just like that. Yes, I was thinking that uh, I'm ready to eat it like that. <laughs> now our dough rested for about one hour, so it's ready to be rolled with a mattarello, which means with a rolling pin, and we can assemble our tiella. Divide our dough in an half. We cover the part that we are not going to use now, so we don't make it dry. And with this, we work with a mattarello, and we need a very thin dough. As you can see, it is very thin. I'm going to use this dish for my tiella and what I'm going to do is to spread some olive oil. We transfer our dough there. If you are making your own pie, because at the end is a pie. It's a savory pie, but it's a pie. Be sure that every single piece of your dish is covered with the dough. Now we transfer our uh, mussel, our tomatoes in our tiella. And if you have some water like uh, I have, don't put the water in the tiella because otherwise it gets too mushy. So now we work with the other part of the dough, so we make another circle to cover our tiella. So with the mattarello you can roll the dough, take the tiella and cover it. The extra dough we can easily cut. And now we close it like this. I'm rolling it inward. Now the tiella is ready, but before we put it in the oven, we need to use a fork to make some hole. So the steam of the tiella just goes away when it's cooking. Now is the time to pour some olive oil at the top. With your brush, spread the olive oil so our crust will be gold when it will be ready. The oven is preheated at 400-410 degrees. Now it's time to bake our tiella for about 35-40 minutes, but you need to check on it. When it's golden, it's time to take it out from your oven. Be sure to let it cool completely once you take out from uh, the oven. In fact, it's much better if you eat the day after. Wait, so I don't get to try it now? I don't remember any dish that you let uh, rest until the day after. So, Harper, also for this time, uh, yes, okay, you can try it now. That looks pretty yummy. This is a Tiella Arber, one of Italian Tiella. So try it and tell us how it is. Buon appetito. Wow. 
Wanna buy it? Ay, sí, 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 I want to buy it. I think you do. When I was a kid growing up in Maine, I used to go and actually collect uh, mussels. We had a ton of mussels. So I've eaten a lot of mussels in my day. Never seen anything done with them quite like that. And it is delicious. Don't eat it all. Don't worry, Harper. That was your part, this is my part. <laughs> so Harper, we need to say thank you to Mima and Delia because they gave us a suggestion to make the real Tiella from Gaeta because they are from Gaeta. Grazie mille. Grazie. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out our complete guide to homemade pasta if you're interested in learning from Ava how to make your own pasta. The link will be down in the description below. If you try this recipe, tag us in a picture on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, at Pasta Grammar. We'd love to see what you guys come up with, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.